Hey everybody. So what we have going on here, there is uh, well there's four different MS260 026 cylinders. Um, I only have three of the different ones. I don't have the fourth, but I I'll explain that in a couple of minutes here. So like where I am here, there's a whole bunch like 026s, MS260s. They're they're super popular in in my neck of the woods here. Um, I've ported a couple now. They're turning out good. I got a third one on the go. And case in point, that's what one of these cylinders are actually going to be for. <clears throat> um, common issue with them, just like many other saws, getting too lean or straight gassed, um, burning up cylinders, pistons. The one I have at the moment still together but it's the same thing as anything else it's it looks like it's straight gas from what I can tell um, haven't popped the jug off of that one yet but that jug's going to be the same as what these ones are but I know for myself when I was trying to figure them out just like everybody else asking questions going on Google checking YouTube and I haven't found much in the way of YouTube information. I found a lot, not even a lot, but I found some, but the few posts I did find by going on Google, definitely a lot of info, in, informative bah, people. So from learning from that stuff to what I have personally acquired and experienced and whatnot. So you have a, just the start between the 44 mil or 026, the earlier uh, earlier model 026s is so you got your it could be Molly, might say still either one. This one is Molly and also still the 44 mil from the 026s don't have a casting mark on that transfer or that transfer, whereas all the MS 260s. From what I can tell anyways and from what I've experienced, they have casting information on their transfers on both sides. Now, some cylinders I have found, like one side on this one says still, the other side, the other side says mall. One of these I believe, yeah. So like on this one, it says still on that side. It does say Molly, but this one's up on the transfer. I don't know why it's gone from here to here. So for everybody who is curious about these things, you got your, you got your numbers here. You got your, what was this one? 44 ZK1 and I don't understand. I don't know what all this other stuff after that is. Whereas, now I'm starting to get confused. I got so many of these darn things. Because these are the, the 1121 cylinders, so I'm pretty sure it's like revisions, but I could be wrong. So if it shows up, it says 44 ZK1. That's the 044 or 044 026 cylinder. This is the MS260, and says same thing 44. It does not specify if it's 44.7 or 44. Um, not always a guarantee, but some of the info is sometimes going by the decomp. But some of the 026s, apparently the early, early models didn't have this boast for decomp. But they both apparently come in decomp. I don't have a 44 mil with a decomp. I don't, this is the closest thing I have. But 026s or MS260 sorry can come in both with or without decomp I don't know if it's a generation thing uh, I honestly don't other than that like in short that is the easiest quickest thing to note or how to notice it and give me a sec to get it late here let's see I don't know if this is going to show up 
you look at the squish band, it looks like it's a very pronounced ridge in there, and it is to a degree, kind of, you got your cylinder wall, it kind of comes up, and then your combustion chamber, and then kind of the same thing on the other side. Let's see. Hoping this shows up decent enough to see what's going on in here. I discovered something this week, which I never knew about. Well, it's not that I didn't know about. I knew these things had tight squish bands. So, I went and slapped in uh, a new piston. I wasn't sure if it was good. That one doesn't show up as good. This one's dirty, but it might show up. The actual squish band, there's actually about, uh, what was it, 20, 20, 23 thou step in there. So it goes, it looks like it still has a slight going, yeah, your cylinder wall. It looks like it has a slight step up, goes, and then combustion chamber. And then same thing, boom, on the cylinder wall on the other side. It's about a 20 thou difference <clears throat> between the 044, 044, the 44 mil cylinder and the 44.7. Because I went to put in, or I did put in um, an aftermarket, uh, one of the Molly coated Dukes pistons into, into an MS260 cylinder. And I went to go check the squish. Hit top dead center. Boom. That was it. <clears throat> so. I was took it apart today. Now that I, I got cut to these cylinders. Actually today from uh, from a dealer. When I was going through their old parts. And I was curious. So I was looking inside. And that's what I noticed with the squish band. It's, it's got like the itsy bitsy little bit of a lip compared to the 44 millimeter cylinders. Uh, from what I've read, it sounds like you got this little, little rectangular block. Sometimes it's stamped apparently on there, 44 or 44.7. These ones are not, I've already looked at them. Like that one says B4. Again, I don't know exactly what that's supposed to specify at all. whole bunch of stuff on that one. Another B4 or B because I don't know, one of the two. Yeah, and this one has a bunch of jibber jabber on there. So yeah. So if you're looking to port them and you oh they're so in, like inconsistent too. Like my O26 cylinder piston I ended I started out with uh, what the hell what the heck was it before 14 thou or 15 thou uh, squish whereas for whatever reason with this so I don't know if the piston is a little different design as well <clears throat> but I know some people have issues with when they do base gas to delete on these on these series of saws um, have the same issue like zero tolerance you go to check your squish and you're hitting top dead center and you're stopped dead cold leaving a lot of people cutting squish bands out um, that's actually what I'm gonna do with one of these cylinders why I get uh, well, I'll actually probably start on it tonight but getting it ready for porting and stuff so anyways hopefully this is gonna be quick short easy but that's definitely the easy, one of the easier things. Oh, you know what? Actually, hold on, hang on. So the other thing is too with these. If anybody's looking to mod them, <coughs> you have the O26. I believe this is the early style style air filter. There were two different styles, and then you have this one's the MS260, or I believe maybe also deemed as the later style. Um, air filter. Differences are 
O26, MS260. M uh, MS260 has a compensator, the O26 does not. But if you look, you actually have considerably more filter material on that top area. And they are also thicker, a little different design. Um, and I believe, are they wider? Oh yeah, they're substantially wider too. Or noticeably wider. Hopefully that shows up. Lining it up, it's probably close to three-eighths of an inch difference. Ooh, try to square those up a bit. So, if you want to use an MS260 style filter or anything with that compensator on a non-compensating carburetor, you got to plug that hole. Uh, plug it, use JB Weld, just something to hold your plug in. What I did on my O26 is I actually put um, the compensator uh, hat or whatever on there. So that's the other thing about them. A lot more restrictive, flows more, filters more too. I guess it doesn't filter more, but it, because it flows, like it'll flow more air, things like that. Now, uh, you can't really tell, you can tell. This is a little bit different design. The choke holes are same size, they're just a little, designed a little bit differently. But like I say, they still mount up the same. Um, give me two secs here, I'll show you some. Actually, you know what, I'll, I'll save that next. So, to run, this style filter, the O26 filter, you need the O26 style filter cover. You can, um, can't fit an MS260 filter, will not fit underneath here. If you do the MS260, I believe they are backwards compatible. There are little differences. Uh, I don't know if that's going to show. But the 260 filter cover clearly has to be like, a little bit deeper to allow that uh, to allow for that bigger filter in there. They also, I think it's this lug on the side here. I believe is a little bit different too. I I've tried swapping them around, and I know I know the thinner cover from the 026 won't take a 260 filter, regardless of the fact. And then the pre-folders are a little different style. This one never came with the actual screen. I'm assuming there's supposed to be a screen there, but it looks like there's buy rates there should be. Um, on the in the 260, there's a winter plug, like storage for your winter plug that's supposed to go in there. Um, this one again doesn't have it. The O26 does not have that same holder in there too. And if you're ever curious, the older style ones have this style. I think there's another style too. Yeah, I'm not sure what my other cover is. And then the newer ones have this style instead. Because... <clears throat> locks in with that filter stud. I wonder if this will work. Uh, no, it doesn't, does not illustrate it at all. Whereas the MS260, that right there, actually locks onto this nub. So when you turn it, um, goes on, turns, and it's like a cam-ish idea, but then when you twist, it locks onto that. You have a couple different carburetor options between the years. This one's the Walbro WT-194. Uh, it's upside down. Pretty close to being upside down. They're identical. They plug and play. Actually, I lied. They're not totally identical, but they're very similar. That side's the same. 
this is the MS260. That's your that's your compensator. That's what plugs into that hole on here. So your compensator plugs into that like so. And then these will hold them onto the studs, onto the saw. Um, not all 260s, but some of them. I don't think it's going to show up, but there's a little red cap in there. That's the limiter cap. Um, pretty sure you can pull those caps out like you can on most of these saws. I haven't tried on this one. This one's just a carb that's just kicking around the box. Whereas <clears throat> this uh, WT-194, it's got your high and your low. There's no... Uh, there's no limiter caps on it, but I believe the O26, I think some did come with a limiter cap as well. <clears throat> Your um, idle adjustment is the same. Carbon copy, same, same dealio. These do interchange. You can put this, like the O26 carb, on an MS260 and vice versa. But if you have a compensator filter and this one I was saying, like my ported one, I actually swapped this one out in place for this so I could use that larger filter without needing to actually put in a cap of any sort to uh, the block it. So, uh, the quick rundown is too with these MS260 filters, there's two different styles of tank fence handles. I hope it shows up. There is this style tank tank vent, and there's actually two of those, two different styles of those. That's the O26 one. Give me a second, I'll grab the MS260. Then on this one, it's got a lower profile uh, tank filter, and they don't interchange either. They are they are different. Um, the other thing is too. There's a lot of variants kind of on this one, but this one has actually the heated carburetor and the um, heated handle. Now, some of them come with also the O26s. Uh, the normal O26 came with a non adjustable oiler, and the pros came with the adjustable oiler, even though they're the same size, so there's a couple little differences in them. In the MS260s, as far as I know, all the oilers are adjustable. Um, I could be wrong, but the ones I've come across, actually, yeah, the ones I've come across all have adjustable oilers. Um, the other thing is, too, the non-adjustable oilers in the older O26s, they're always, the pump's always turning always it doesn't matter if you're idling or running the saw it's always turning and pumping oil or you can do the upgrade to the adjustable which works in both saws they're cross compatible where with the adjustable um, you gotta change your clutch drum your oiler um, your oiler lever bar thing that clicks into or hooks up into the clutch all that's got to be changed and then you can do the adjustable Oiler, and not only that, when, if you're idling, you're not pumping bar oil. It's not like it's a bad thing, but if you leave your saw oil for a while, it has more tendency to run a little more out of your clutch cover. Um, bore size pistons are not cross compatible. They 44 versus 44.7. It does not sound like much, but they don't work. Like you can interchange them. Uh, recoil swap out, uh, what else, clutch covers, top covers, handlebars, uh, the brakes, the mufflers, or not the brakes, but the brake levers, even the brakes, everything's the same, at least from ones I've worked on so far, um, mufflers are the same, like they, you can interchange them, like I say the top covers, uh, the same, handles, they mount up the same, um, the actual case halves, you can interchange them. They're identical. Actually, my port, my O20, port O26 is actually from an MS260 and an O26 case. So I know those those swap out. 
what else? Obviously, the, the um, tank covers are not interchangeable. It's either you got the screw-in type or you got the flippy type. I don't like the flippy type personally. I prefer the I prefer the screw-on type. Uh, recoils I know is two different types, but they still interchange. The SO26 has just says still on it. Um, the MS260 says MS260 right on it. What else? I'm sure I'm missing some things, but that's just the kind of to get to get you into the ballpark here with these saws and. I know when I start with them, you know they're popular as heck. When I start getting to the saws, I got one, okay, rebuilt it. I got another, that one's getting rebuilt. I just acquired this other one with the winter package, which meant not the saw, it's just meant to have it. Never had any of my saws ever have a winter package in them. A lot of them were optional, but this is the first one. And I didn't even know, I didn't even know it had it until I brought it home and I was looking it over and my Hmm. Cool. So, I think that is it in the shortest nutshell, which how far are we? 21 minutes. I'm going to edit this video down a little bit. Maybe take out my dip, 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 billy goat talk. And, uh, yeah. And anyways, see you guys later. Have a good night.